all right everyone welcome back to another episode of tall tales custom tackles um we are actually going to do something a little bit different today um usually i do a lot of little bait making rambling shenanigans all kind of crazy stuff uh today is going to be an actually uh i guess you'll call it a part two a of a collaboration um I'm gonna spin the camera around. I'm gonna show you pretty much what I have. Uh, there's a there's a gentleman that he has a a YouTube channel and uh, he actually makes some awesome jigs. So if you get a chance, go over to SDC uh, Baits. He makes um uh, he actually makes some pretty awesome jigs um i just got this one in the mail um matter of fact um he's got a video like i say this is collaboration so part one of the video and i'll actually uh include a link you know um with this video but anyway let's let me adjust the camera and if you go watch his channel believe me you will see that he is a uh he is gifted when it comes to making a video uh if you watch mine i'm like i'm a failure you know i don't i don't know all the t uh the little tips the tricks in the trade when it comes to uh all that but i mean man look at that that is like absolutely beautiful um adam he is a he is a beast i've i've uh I've had a lot of jigs, but I've never had one that was a, uh, I guess they call it a hybrid because it's got, you know, it's got the rubber and then it's got the, the bucktail. So anyway, what this uh, collaboration is about, we are, we are going to try to make a trailer to, um, to go for this jig, which, um, we will see what we can do, um. I don't I don't want to do your traditional black and blue um you know I make a couple of black and blue colors that would really match this really good um my ballistic bruiser color would really go good with this but I want to do something different uh you know I want to create something unique just for this channel even though this uh really don't have no and I'll get into it in a second what I'm talking about let me check on this plastic on that a little bit longer um this is black and blue but right here it's got you can see it a little bit it's got a little bit of a touch of uh like a like a disco looking green in it that is pretty cool so i actually want to play on the green apart a little bit so what i'm thinking i want to try to do is actually instead of a black and blue i want it to be almost like a extremely dark uh green pumpkin and blue um and i'm talking about i want the green pumpkin really dark and if it's a failure you know what we'll start over and just go black and blue with it and try something but i'm thinking that would uh that would play really well with that um but we will see uh like i say man i have shit i probably have a hundred uh jigs because i like jigs and i fish jigs a lot but i've honestly have never had one with uh with the bucktail and that is actually really cool um uh, anyway if you really want to see uh somebody that's a master at making jigs and uh honestly some of the best uh youtube video editing i've seen go check his channel out and i'll like i say i'll have a uh a link in my comments or i'll post a link down below See, I don't know how to do all that fancy stuff where you put the link in the screen and all that. I guess I need to get with somebody that really knows YouTube and uh and have them teach me. Um because I don't I don't know how to do all that magic. But anyway, let me check on this plastic. And I'm not even gonna say, oh, we're gonna make a short video, because every time I do, it's uh it always ends up being 40, 50 minutes long. So we'll see what happens. Let me turn this little fan on just a little bit. But, you know, so we'll see what happens. 
like originally I was gonna go ahead and have the plastic ready where I can just start off but I knew it would take me a minute to uh, you know pretty much talk about that um, like I say I'm, I'm very impressed with the jig and I'm gonna try my best to make a trailer that's worthy of that um, that is absolutely gorgeous um, I mean it's it's such a nice jig I almost wouldn't even want to throw it but I'm definitely gonna have to uh, fish it and, and see if I can land the fish on it um, and we got here in Florida we have here lately we have uh, and it's it's nasty out there now we have had some terrible weather in the last few weeks um, you know it makes it hard to even make plans to go fishing or take your boat out or anything like that because it the storm will blow up on you in just a matter of seconds uh, and I mean it's just like I say it's just horrible but uh anyway I'll show you something else real quick while I'm waiting on that to heat up uh this gentleman actually had a uh, had a little color tester that I had saw online and I know I mentioned it in one of my previous videos that I should have bought it um uh, and he actually contacted me and he's like hey man i'm the one that had it so if you want it we'll work something out but anyway so you'll probably see that feature on another video if i have uh because i'm sure i'll do one you know i do a lot of color matching um you know i really do that's where that's where a lot of my my orders come from is actually people that um uh, that won't color match because too many there's a lot of bait makers out there i mean honestly there's oh i would hate to even know how many actual bait makers they are right now uh they have came out of the woodwork especially since this covid i mean everybody has came out of the woodworks and are making baits now so there's probably several hundred thousand if i had to guess you know because everywhere you look you see bait makers especially online and you really get the looking it's probably it's got to be probably more than that because i just look at my small town i mean right here where i'm at there's there's um hell there's there's one about 25 minutes south there's one about 15 minutes over there there's one over in chattahoochee there's one not even six minutes down the road you know so they're they're everywhere so i mean and don't get me wrong it's a uh it's a cool little uh it's a cool little side thing but anyway um probably 95 percent of my stuff is you know color matching so we will we'll see what we can do with this jig like i say this is the first time i've actually had hands on a beautiful jig like that that is uh it's you know you would look at it and say oh why is he why is he tripping over black and blue but you know i really want to i want to touch on those highlights of that green a little bit i really want that to uh to you know stand out a little bit because uh that's unique um anyway i could pause this video and and uh shorten it up but you know me i get started running my mouth and i don't i don't like to uh I don't like to pause it you know what I mean I just keep on rambling some people like it some people don't you know I, most of the people that watch my channel they know that I make fairly long videos and they they like it but once in a while I'll have a Yahoo that's on here and be like, oh man I want to see them short videos like you know Chris Jones makes or I want to see some you know I, once in a while I'll have the messages you know hey Man, you'd get more people uh, watching your stuff if your videos was 10 or 12 minutes long. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, what can I say? Mine go on. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Well, uh, Fat Guys Fishing actually, um, I'll give you a little update. You know, I ordered a couple of uh, a couple of molds from them when they had that uh, that July 4th sale they apparently must have had some molds in stock uh because hell they already shipped out and they'll be here monday so um 
I don't, I don't even honestly remember what I ordered. I ordered a El Gordo or some bait that just had this, you know, it had this unique looking little tail I wanted to try out. And then, uh, of course, I ordered a, uh, a eight inch eel mold. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with it because that's really a, a little bit bigger bait than I would usually fish with, but, you know, uh, there's an area on my lake that I really want to, well, it's a little bit further up, you know, um, that I really want to try that on with a, you know, but I want to, I want to slow roll it, real slow hopping off the bottom using a, um, Carolina rig, you know, so I want to, I want to see it, and I've seen some, uh, I've seen some people do some really cool colors, you know, trying to imitate eels so i mean it was something i wanted to boy you can see all this well i'm taking one for the team um there we go got the plastic cook you know i, I just want to see what kind of uh neat stuff i can create with it always remember and i try to be educational most of the time with this and i'll try to get you get you where you can see always remember don't just stir it you want to rub the edges of the glass you know scrape the bottom you want all that plastic cooked you know i'll even do that there to try to help but you want all of that plastic cooked because if you heat it up to 350 degrees and you don't really scrape the edges and all you'll end up with a a white milky sticky film on the, uh your cups and that's because that plastic not every bit of it is getting up the temperature uh, me personally, I like to, and everybody can do it different. I like to run my plastic up about 365, somewhere in there, but I like to bump it up to that two or three times to make sure it's it's cooked. All right, let's see if we can work some magic here. These are a cup and a half, and always remember, even though it was a cup and a half, right now it's almost a cup and three quarter because when the plastic cooks it's going to gradually expand a little bit so just a little tip in case you didn't know so you don't want to fill this cup all the way up and say oh i got plenty of room to work and then you know it's too close to the top all right let's see what we can do here this is green pumpkin 109 just in case you want to try to recreate this uh this might be a failure it might not but um, and I'll actually count the drops that I'm going to do just like I say just in case because I've had people Say uh, why you know why should I watch this channel because I don't learn anything. So let's see if we can Do it as that Let's do 40, and that should be plenty. Yep, that's plenty to get the color I want. All right, so we did 40 of that, and I shouldn't have to add no more, but we'll see. All right, what I do want to do now is add a little bit of black to it. I just done that to get the tint that I wanted. Like I say, I want it to be a real dark green pumpkin. I want it to be pretty much black, but with a green pumpkin little hint to it. Alright, let's see what we come up with. That was 12. Alright. That's probably gonna be dark enough. Yeah, I think that's gonna be plenty dark enough. And this might not I got it in my head how I want it to look, and it might look like that, it might not. That looks pretty good, alright. Uh see if you can see what I see. I think that's pretty good. That's a real dark green pumpkin. Uh, that was 18. How about the 19, 20? 
only. All right. There we go. What's well, two drops gonna hurt? Nothing. I mean, if anything, I might make it a little too thick, but as far as the color, the color looks, color looks good. Okay. Now here is where I want to play with it just a little bit. This is something you don't see me use a whole lot of, and it probably will get lost, but I still want to put some in it. I'm going to put a quarter of the little string black in it. And like I say, that will probably get lost because it's so dark, but I'm thinking that you should be able to see just enough of it because I'm probably going to put a little tweak of that on the other side too, but yeah. Alright, I like the way that looks so far. Alright, let's see what else we want to do. Um, hmm. On this side, I think I am going to put the, uh, I want to do a small little touch of, uh, this right here is the point zero zero eight of the Evergreen. Uh, green. And I'm talking about, I only want a small amount because I want this to just reflect. And that there was honestly about a quarter of a eighth of a little scoop. I just want that to to show off that, uh, that little bit of green that's in there. And I think that was enough to do what I'm, what I'm wanting. All right. Now I'm still gonna add a little bit of blue to this side, and I'm probably gonna add about the same amount, maybe a quarter of a one eighth scoop. Like I say, I just want the the highlight. I don't want to drown nothing out, and that looks pretty good. And we'll see how it looks when uh when we pour it. Let's set that one to the side. All right, the blue side, that's a that's pretty much going to be an easy side. Uh, this right here is, I actually like the uh, the bait class that's blue. It's, it's really thick, so it don't take that much. So make sure you're still... Uh, one, two, three. And if you notice them are some big old glops when it when that blue pops out that is some thick blue but that should be more than plenty it might even be too much blue but you know we'll see um when it's all said and done so i did 20 of those i'm actually going to put a little bit of uh my blue uh sapphire blue powder now, I know you've seen me use this in the video uh, on the channel before. Uh, put one eighth of a scoop in there. This is like an afterthought. I just want to put that in there to see. I probably should have used about maybe 14 drops instead of 20, but I, I think it's going to be fine. All right, on this, I'm going to do a full scoop of the uh, of the small blue. I'm going to do a, a full scoop of a .015 black. Now let's see what this turns into before we go any further. Uh, yeah, that's looking pretty good. 
Uh, and just like in the black side, I'm gonna put a quarter of the string black in it just to just to see, you know, if it really stands out. Who knows, it might look like a glob when it's done, but that's all part of bait making. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. I think it's gonna match up pretty good. All right, what we're gonna do now is heat these back up. Heat them back up and see what happens. Woo, we are at 20 minutes. See, that's what I'm saying. Some of these other guys, they are masters. Adam is a beast. Because uh, he can, you know, he can condense and make all his videos real short. Uh, like I say, I am not gifted when it comes. I need to just sit down one day. And I've said it several dozen times. I need to just sit down one day and watch a YouTube video on how to edit and do proper YouTube. You know, that's what I need to do instead of just letting it roll. That's how, I mean, that's how I, that's how I started out doing it. That's how I've been doing it. I guess if it ain't broke, don't fix it how, I, how I've been doing it. So who knows, I might need to, I might need to start pausing it. But anyway, after we shoot this first little run, I'll probably pause you until we take them out. That way you're not just sitting here for a few minutes. I could just pause you right now until this is ready because this is going to take another minute. Matter of fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause you and then we'll come back. Alright. We have them pretty much the temperature. They're, uh, they're right around 340, um, which is... Mm, Ideally, I like to shoot most of my molds around 315, 320. So with them sitting there for a second and me talking, they'll cool down just a little bit. The molds are cool. The injector's cool. So by the time they actually inject, they will be close to the right temperature. So let's see if we can get you angled. You know, and I, you know, I'm I've probably said it and just in case I haven't, you know, I'm actually very, you know, I'm excited about this little collaboration. Uh, I'm actually very excited that, uh, you know, he reached out to me, you know, uh, this is a pretty cool little opportunity. All right. I want to do the, the swim baits first. All right, and these right here, if you ain't seen me uh, do these on my channel, they, you have to go at a snail's pace. I mean, they, they, they work best. I mean, they'll shoot fine if you, uh, if you go fast. The thing is, it's a, it's a ribbed, you know, it's got like the rings in it, and that style bait, what will happen if you go too fast that style bait will not feel proper now these crawls you can you can slam them on down all right but but those uh little ring swim baits what will happen with them is you end up with uh if you try to go too fast and sometimes you think you're going too slow slow down <laughs> i mean that's the that's the best way to explain it uh you know they uh now if you go fast with them and your little rings don't feel in all the way believe me that's not gonna you can fish that bait no problem it ain't, it ain't gonna hurt a thing but the bait performs just the same with it looking perfect what I'm getting at though is uh, you know if you're making an order for somebody you you always want them to be perfect I mean uh, try to get as close as you can so that swim bait mold like I say you need to go extremely slow and one little tip I'll give you I don't know if you could see when I'm holding my injector I actually run my finger 
Let me see if I can make sure you're uh, seeing what I'm saying. I actually hold my finger right here against it when I'm pushing down just to make sure I don't push too fast when I'm trying to go slow. You know, I'll push it down and my finger will gauge that and help keep me from going too fast. Um, and like I say, that's just a tip I do. Like, for example, when you, when you have your injector, you know, freshly you know oiled up it's clean you sometimes it a uh whoop, like butter um that's when i really want to i really want to do that because it's too easy to just put a little pressure and it goes all bottoms out so um absolutely that's what i do it works for me um will it work for you i have no idea um uh, each is their own you know i can I can tell you what works for me. Uh, every mold is going to be different when it comes to, you know, you might have a mold that, uh, a swim bait mold that shoots fine. I know these BTS molds, uh, they, they shoot great, but they shoot really good at a, a, a slow, slow speed. You know what I mean? They, uh, they really perform best. Same with uh, if you have the uh, bass tackle. Um, oh, if you have the bass tackle ringworm. Same way. But uh, anyway, I, I was looking at other molds. You know, I have other molds that would uh, that would really work good on a, a trailer. You know, the the H problem works great as a trailer. Um, I got those little four inch um, Cali grubs. They actually do really good on a trailer. Uh, almost all your baits, I've actually used them ringworms on a trailer with that little that little hook tail does, uh, does really good. But what performs best, in my opinion, on the, uh, on the jigs are gonna be your little like uh, swim bait styles, whether if it's a ring swim bait or you got something else that's resembles it around that size um that and honestly i love the action that a a crawl like the style this is a crazy crawl you don't you don't have to use that style but i like how that style does on a jig because it it really the way that bait does it's got instead you're real fast like a uh like a like a speed crawl that zoom makes it's got more of a real hard thump and i can work the bait a lot slower so that's why I like it. All right, let's 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 get to it and see if we got anything that's gonna match up. As far as looking at the actual uh, plastic right here, I think that's gonna be dark enough, you know? So I like how it looks so far. And if I really like how it looks, I might have to play the video back and write down what, uh, what we did. All right, let's see what we wanna do first. Uh, it's like a surprise. I'm gonna go with one of these first. All right. Let's see if we got perfect baits. It's very rare that you don't get great looking baits out of these molds. Oh yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Let's see if I want to change up the where's my jig at. See, I think that is plenty dark enough. It almost looks black, but it's really, I think that's really good. Cause it looks black, but when you look at it closer, I actually gonna add a little bit more of uh, that little green. I want that, uh, that small green flake to pop just a little bit more, but see if you can see in the tail. You can see the the green more now but that looks really good i think that's gonna be a uh, a great trailer and that blue if i if i did it again i might would go a little bit lighter on the blue maybe i don't know that blue really pops i might would go a little bit lighter on the blue you know on the neck like if i do it again and the reason I say that is with that blue belt a little bit thick, you lose some of the flake that's in it. 
but oh yes I like I like that and like I say I'm trying to see because it looks almost black but oh there you can see the green I was hoping the camera would pull up what I can see because sometimes your uh, your camera won't quite get what you can you know see in person but what I'm gonna do is actually uh, pull this one out yep beautiful what I'm gonna do is actually uh, pause you I'm gonna heat the plastic back up and I'm gonna add just a little bit more of that small green and see if I can get that to pop a little bit more the color I like the color I think it uh I think it plays well with this I mean I really do uh really do I just I want that green flake to I want it to pop out a little bit more to and like I say only because it's the only place that's really got green is right here but I still I like how that looks so I just want to put a touch more I'm not going to put that much more I'll probably only put like maybe Ooh, probably the same amount that we did earlier we did a quarter scoop so I'll probably add one quarter scoop to it to really make that pop a little bit more but I'm gonna pause you while we reheat this up get that mixed in and bring you back when we're ready to shoot that way this video ain't an hour long all right got them heated back up uh, let me get you in a better angle um got them heated back up and I added a little bit more of that green flake um see what it does I just want a little bit more of that green I mean those first ones were were great but I want a little bit more of that green and I don't know if the camera was angled that high or not but like I say well, my, my arm would be in the way, but I use my one finger to help guide when it comes to the speed of how fast I want those those ring worms done, uh, or uh, ring swim baits. Uh, you know, I get asked all the time, like, where my molds come from. Uh, I honestly have a lot of molds and they all come from different locations I mean you all uh, you know I got molds from you know multiple companies I've got them from uh, I've got them pretty much from fat guys fishing uh, BTS molds bass tackle uh, epic bait molds, uh, hell, uh, lure craft, I mean, angling AI, I'm trying to think if there's anybody, uh, dark horse fishing molds, I mean, there's, there's so many companies out there that make them, uh, hog salad bait molds, uh, you know, I, of course, I love my hog salad molds, I mean, they, they really do perform great, um, you know, I get asked, what's the best? Honestly, it really just depends on you. Um, you know, that, that goes back to, I get asked all the time, what's the best swim bait? Well, that's, that's almost impossible to answer because there's, there's so many different ones out there. Personally, I like this one. You know, this is a ring swim bait. It's 3.8 inches. It's perfect for throwing it on a jig. A, a jig that style a bladed jig or just straight up just putting it on a you know little swim jig style hook without the skirt and all and just fishing it that way um it's a great bait they are very pricey and i know uh adam he mentioned it on uh on his channel when he was talking about the uh collaboration we're doing uh yes they are um uh, they are very expensive. Uh, if you buy one of these molds from BTS, um, they're going to hit you like, uh, I think it's 360, 369 or something like that after tax. 
and shipping a piece for a four cavity which is very pricey but i mean it's a great mold um uh, anyway we're going to check this out and what we're going to do is um we're going to pull these out in just a second we are actually going to fit it uh figure out which one we want to go with um honestly i'm probably going to roll with the swim bait on that just by looking at the profile of it and actually looking at uh and i'll explain what i mean in just a second one by looking at it, the bucktail like i said i've never had a uh i never had a jig like that with bucktail now i've had some of the old traditional uh hair jigs you know that nothing like that though that's um i've heard people talk about that style but i've honestly had never had one or paid attention or even seen one up for sale so i mean i really do appreciate the opportunity to be able to you know work with adam for something like this uh you know as he stated in his videos you know uh or that last video you know small guys gotta stick together because i'm definitely a small guy uh when it comes to the bait making community um you got some beasts out there and adam i can tell him straight up um you might consider yourself small but from the videos i've been uh watching in your channel you uh you have just about mastered the uh the art of jig making that is uh really awesome um and it is actually a uh you know i'm honored to be able to do this little collaboration with you you know i've uh this is really cool so all right let's get to it and see if we can tell a difference let's see let's see um we might not be able to tell a difference but we might i can tell a difference i don't know if you'll be able to see a difference on camera or not but try to i can see the camera shows it a little bit which the flake is so tiny so let me see if i can get it to show in the tail uh maybe the tail will show you a little bit better what i'm talking about see it's green pumpkin but it's so dark of a green pumpkin it almost looks black and i really think that's going to play good uh with the with the um the jig let's see all right you can tell a little bit more about because this back is a little flatter without all the ribs in it and you can tell all right them look great all right we're gonna hurry up and wrap this up so we ain't got an extremely long well we're gonna have a long video um there's no way around it you know i guess i i should have uh prepared a little bit better you know when i come out here a lot of times with something like this i just honestly i just wing it i come out here and and just start working all right let's see here i'm gonna try to angle you around and give you a, what i'm seeing and in case you ain't checked out any of his stuff go check him out um you know he's i know he's on facebook uh instagram and of course youtube he's got the little symbol for it so go check him out sdg uh custom lure craft and uh if you haven't done so subscribe to his channel <laughs> i'll throw that in there all right back to business while we're making an hour long video that shouldn't have been an hour all right pop one of these off all right here like i say i've uh i've never dealt with bucktail when it comes to a, a jig so i might i might mess it up I want to fold up the the hair, you know what I mean? Now, let me get you in camera. All right. It is awkward trying to do this on camera. I've never... Uh, I don't think I've ever put a trailer on a jig while trying to look in the camera. All right. 
Let's get it going. I think right about right about there. All right, let's see what we're working with. Push it over the hook slot. That don't look bad. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna, because that don't look bad, but I'm gonna bite a little piece off of it where I can get it further on there. Let me do that. I'm gonna bite a little chunk off this swim bait. Or actually, I'll just grab another one and I'm gonna bite about Build about a half inch off. Build his head off. Alright. There we go. Let's see if we can get it up on there. Alright. Spread the old bucktail. Spread the old bucktail fur around. Yeah, uh, now some people, you know, everybody's gonna be different. I like my uh, my tail to be a little bit closer, so I bit just a little bit off of it. And you can see how that uh, you can see how that pushes that uh that bucktail hair out. That's actually pretty cool, and then when it's coming through the water it'd be laying down a little bit more but i think that uh i think that honestly i'm trying to get close where you can see i think that green pumpkin really matched it up with that real tiny green flake and the blue is almost spot on lay that down where you can see the blue is almost spot on. Only thing left to do now is actually uh, try to fish with it and catch a fish. It makes me curious. I want. I made a bunch of these, so it don't matter. I'm actually going to take and uh, put one of the crawls on it real quick and see how it looks with a crawl on it. I mean hell the video's already long so what's it gonna hurt to uh what's it gonna hurt to make it just a few more seconds longer uh sorry I started doing it off camera all right let's fold this out the way push that up yeah man it just it looks good regardless of what you put on it but that blue right there originally i said i would have probably went a little bit lighter but i don't think i would have i think that blue really really matches it you know nicely and that green pumpkin try to get where you can see it. that green pumpkin mixed in with it it plays with that. I don't know what he calls that stuff. I forgot. But that little fuzzy stuff he put on it right there. It plays really well with that. So, um, yeah. I think that is a, uh, you know, that's successful. Um, I'm actually very happy with the, uh, the color. You know, instead of you're just black and blue, I went real dark. That is almost black. It's so, you know, dark of a green pumpkin. So I'm very happy with how that turned out. All right. I know this video is long. Uh, like always, all my videos are usually going to be long because I start this right here. Um, I need to put me up a, a poster up there that says, keep it short, sweet, close your mouth. 
Uh, but anyway, uh, I appreciate every single one of you that has watched. Uh, I appreciate everybody that has subscribed to the channel. Um, I know a few people have uh, came over from Adam's channel, you know, and um, I appreciate all y'all that came over and give me a chance. Uh, hopefully this video was uh a little bit educational hopefully uh it was entertaining um you might have learned something you might not have uh if you did like it you know um give me a thumbs up hit the notification bell um you know share it on your social media share it with your uh, friends um and stay tuned i mean i try to drop a new video about once a week sometimes i Sometimes it might take me a couple weeks. You know, my work schedule is crazy, so I don't always have a, a ton of time. Um, but anyway, I'm going to I'm going to hold off on posting this video because um, this is Friday. It's like four o'clock. So what I'm going to do is, if I can get a, um, you know, it's been stormy weather, so I'm going to. I'm gonna hopefully try to get this wet and uh, you know I might even be able to get a little bit of footage of uh, of this swimming uh, if I can great if I can't and I don't get a chance to go to the water I'm gonna go ahead and post the video um, you know and then I might try to you know add it to a, a later video but anyway I'll try to get out sometime this weekend and and get it wet if I can. Like I say, if I can't, then I will go ahead and post this video. Um, that way you can see the, the part two of this collaboration. And uh, I don't even know what else to say other than just thank you everybody for uh, you know watching and bearing with me. I know it took forever for a video that should have only been 20 minutes. One day I will learn that magic and I will make them shorter. All right, thank you for watching. We will catch you next time. All right, this is the uh, next morning. Um, I'm not going to... I wanted to be able to put it in the water and try to get a uh, a quick little video, maybe, uh, you know, fishing and all. I ain't going to have no time today, and I want to go ahead and get this video uploaded. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I got my little test tank, don't judge me because this test tank is filthy uh, honestly it's dirty um, it stays outside and it sees all kind of weather and stuff so it is a little bit dirty I could have put the water hose in and let it flush it out and overflow for about 30 minutes it would have been alright but whatever um, what I'm going to do I went ahead and because personally um, the way I'm going to fish it I'm probably going to use it mostly with the uh, the crawl trailer that you are going to see in the pictures. But for this video, I went ahead and switched it out, and I put the uh, I put the swim bait on it because in certain situations I will use the swim bait on it. Uh, but um, a swim jig like this, I usually try to try to work it a lot slower, and um, that crawl trailer I can work it. I'm talking about just at a snail's pace, real slow, bumping along. So. Um, but I got trailers, you know, for both situations. So if I want to move it a little bit faster, I'll, I'll swap it over to this. But anyway, this right here is just going to be a little added part just to show you the, uh, show you the little jig with the, see if I can follow it along. Of course, you can work this right here pretty slow. You ain't got to burn it but and even the hopping along i mean it's gonna have a gonna have a nice i wish i could uh i wish you could see in person just how just how good that uh that thing swims it's hard to get the man that turned out I'm telling you, I'm, let me see if I can get in the sunlight with it. I don't, you know, I don't toot my horn too often when it comes to this, but I do like how the, 
how the real dark green there we go get in the sun how the yeah you can see it right there the little green the light green shimmer and if you really look at it it blends in with that really well uh anyway well i hope you enjoyed this uh this collaboration with uh me and adam like i say i'm gonna put a uh i'm gonna put a little link you know in the uh in this video where you can go back and check out part one that he done um anyway i appreciate it and this video will be uploaded here in the next couple hours thank you